Hello, stampers. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna teach you how to make this cute card. It's kind of a fun fold, very easy to do, and I hope you will enjoy it. If you'll stick with me till the end. My name is Linda Edwards. I am with Crafty Heron Designs, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you want to purchase anything that you see that I use today, I would love for you to visit my online store. You can see the information on my, um, on the either my uh, Facebook page or YouTube, depending on kind of where you're following me. So this is the card we're going to make. We're going to use this a little cheesy stamp set. It's in the 22-23 annual catalog from Stampin' Up. It's really cute. They've got several different fun kind of punny statements and graphics, and it's a clean stamp set. So I'll show you how to use that today. We're gonna use some Stampin' Blends, and we're actually also gonna use the, um, the stamp set, They're the dies from the Charming Sentiments. That's the Charming Sentiments stamp set, and it comes with a set of dies that is pretty extensive. Uh, Sentiment Silhouettes dies is uh, with that. And we're just using these birthday, this birthday candle die set. So I'll show you how to use that. And we're gonna do some coloring with the Stampin' Blends. So let's go ahead and get started. I have all of the information here as far as the cutting measurements for this card. And I'll put that up there so that you can see it as we go along. Um, so the first, the first is the card base. You start with a card base of 11 inches by four and a quarter inches. So it's 11 inches by four and a quarter. And you can see that I've already cut it at two and a half inches from the right end. So it's scored at four and a half and then I cut this, this end off. So we're gonna fold it and burnish it to get started. And I'll set that aside. And then you need another piece, just a scrap of um, the crushed curry that's gonna be for the little candle um, flame. And then you'll need just a scrap of Pacific Point also for the candle. And then your basic white, the inside here is cut at five and a quarter by four. That's gonna layer on the inside. Then you need a scrap for stamping and cutting. And then you're also gonna need a uh, three inches by three quarters of an inch. This is for the sentiment. And then the designer series paper. Oh dear, I forgot to look up which one this is. This is really a fun one. It's uh, cut four inches by two and three quarters and four inches by two and a quarter. You know, I cut this a while ago. I can't remember the name of the, the set, but I'll write it in the, um, in the information, um, in the description of the video. So I thought it was just really pretty. And then we're gonna use the Stampin' Blends. Um, these are Daffodil Delight, Dark Daffodil, Dark and Light Daffodil Delight. And we're gonna use some ink. We're gonna use Pacific Point. I have it in a little Stampin' Spot and Memento. So that's what you need to get started. So I'm gonna move this aside. So if you wanna stop the video or take a quick picture so that you have that, I will also have all this information in the description of the video. So set that aside and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, let's do our die cutting. Um, and actually the first thing I wanna do is I wanna stamp the cheese with the memento. And the reason for that is that you want it to dry thoroughly. So I've actually already stamped one that I'm gonna color, but I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and stamp this one so that you can see. Very straightforward, it's a cling stamp, so it's nice and um, easy to stamp with. We'll set that aside. And this is the side I'm actually gonna color on because I stamped that a while ago. Sometimes if you color on the memento before it's completely dry, it'll blur. So we don't want that to happen. So the other thing we're gonna stamp is the greeting. And so the greeting I'm using is, it might sound cheesy, but I think you're great. I thought that was cute. And I'm just using the Pacific Point um, ink spot, you can certainly use the, the full ink um, ink pad if you've got it. But this piece is just, you know, I always have a lot of leftover scraps 
of the basic white. And so this is a great way to use up a scrap. And then this is gonna be for the inside. And this is wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And it's gonna be, you want it to go on the center so that it's hidden. Here, I'll show you here. See that you want it to be hidden with this piece here. So if you wanna wait until you assemble your card to do it, you can. But it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna just center it on your paper and you should just be fine. So there you go. And this wishing you the happiest of birthdays. This is one of my favorite sentiments. It is also from that stamp set, that charming sentiments. It does have a die that you can use to cut it out, but I didn't feel like um, I wanted to use that. So set those aside and let's bring in our card base. Now, as you remember, I've already cut this one off from there and then we're going to use that it's going to go like that so we're going to attach our pieces of designer series paper so make sure you kind of line them up so you've got the correct ones because they're pretty close in size sometimes it's a little hard to to tell when they're so close in size i'm a big fan of liquid adhesive but you use you know i know it's not right for everybody so you use whatever adhesive you're comfortable with um, and as you can see, I just kind of made sure that that was pretty even all the way around. And then I'm going to put this designer series paper on this side as well. I just love this paper. And it comes with so many different colors and, um, in it. So let's go ahead and put the inside piece as well. And I've already stamped it, very straightforward. This is just your standard size, five and a quarter by four. That's pretty standard for our card bases. All right. And now I'm gonna attach this piece here. So of course you wanna make sure you only adhere your adhesive on the left side. So what I like to do is I turn it this way. See how I did that? I just flipped it that way. I'm not sure what you would call that. Um, and then I can see where that ends. I've got it all lined up where I want it to be so I know I don't want adhesive any further. I don't want it on this side so that it will not glue it so I don't glue it shut. All right, there we go. And now we get to decorate the card. All right, so as I said, I've already cut that out. I'm gonna um, color it. And I wanted you, I wanted to show you some of the coloring. It's really straightforward. I'm gonna use, this is the dark Daffodil Delight. I'd like to start with the dark and I'm just gonna color in all of the circles on this, the holes on this Swiss cheese. Very straightforward, kind of all the holes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of shading. So I wanna shade kind of my corners. I want it to be a little darker, maybe a little bit under the holes, kind of where wherever you might think that the light would be doing some shading. Um, and maybe up in this corner over here. And then I come in with the light um, stamp and blend. This is the light daffodil delight and I'm using the thin end on both of these, but you don't have to use, you can use the brush end. It's not a lot of space here. So that's why I decided to use, use just the, the light, the thin end on this. And I'm just going over the area that I've already, you know, with the, the darker blends. I don't know. Can you see that I am kind of going over that darker color and pulling it out, pulling it away so that I get a little bit of shading. So pulling that darker color away, all right? So you don't need to watch me do the whole thing. And then I'm just gonna fussy cut it. So I've already got one done. Here's one here. As you can see how the shading is a little bit darker. There's just, it just gives it a little bit of depth. That's not critical. 
but I also left some lighter areas there too so that you can get a little bit of depth on that. All right, and then these are the dies for the uh, candle. I've already cut them out so that, you know, speed things along a little bit for you. You could certainly do it without the dies, but I thought it was really kind of fun to have this little candle. I mean, I, you, can't, you can't make the candle without the dies, but I thought you could certainly make the cheese without a candle, but I thought that was really a lot of fun. So this is a little um, tricky. You'd need to be either have a really good hand with your, um, your dies. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna glue this white piece. See how it's layered? I'm gonna glue that in the back of that. So I'm just going to very lightly, you see it just tiny little dots. If you're not that precise, then you might want to use either the fine tip glue or you could certainly use a um, tape runner. And that's really all I need. You can see I don't have that many on there. I'm gonna turn that over and I'm holding the top because I don't need that to be, to have any glue on it. And I'm just gonna layer that like that. And there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna do have a little bit of glue on there, and that one could be a little bit more, probably more than I really need. And then I'm gonna just layer that guy on there. Now, if you have your, ah, look what I did, I pulled it right off. There we go. Okay, there's my candle. And my candle is going to sit, and I kind of put it right over that little hole there, but I'm not gonna attach it just yet. Okay, so now let's finish off our sentiment. Um, I am going to flag the end. You know, if you've got one of the um, punches that flags the end, go ahead and use it. But just in case you don't, this is a really easy way to flag an end. I'm just kind of eyeballing the center, cutting to the center, and then I'm gonna cut on an angle from one corner to the next. This is a great way, if you don't have a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of tools, this is a great way to create some interest for your um, sentiment. Let me see, I've got a little goober there. We'll just do that. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of this on, on um, dimensionals. I had to check to see, did I put on dimensionals? I sure did. So I'm bringing out my dimensionals. And I like to use the long, thin ends of my, see that, don't want anything to go to waste. So I'm gonna cut there and to about there on the end of that package of dimensionals. And I'm just gonna put that right there. And I'm gonna line it all up before I actually, um, Put it all back together and then I'll put some dimensionals there. So before I, uh, I take the adhesive off of the other end of the dimensionals, I wanna line it up. Okay, it's gonna go there. And then I'm gonna put some small mini dimensionals put some mini dimensionals on the back of that. Um, here we go, and I think for this, I wanna use, I might have to cut that in half. No, it, it's okay. It barely fits. You can cut it in half if you think it's gonna bother you, but it'll be fine. Did I do that too low? I did. So don't go too low because then you want it to kind of sit. There we go, like that. And you don't need anything on the candle because it's gonna kind of uh, be above the um, the card here. So we don't wanna glue, it, glue the card shut. Remember that card's gonna open. So I'm gonna put my cheese there, 
Then I'm gonna add my candle. See why you don't want the glue there so that can open. And then I can decide where I want this. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit further. There we go. All right. So as you can see, I did this card a little differently. I didn't put the end all the way down, so I want to see what you think. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is let's put some, gotta do a little bit of bling. These are the matte decorative dots. These are really fun. Got some yellow dots. So I'm gonna use my um, take your pick tool to add some additional interest. There you go. I think I'll put these down. Boy, that does not want to cooperate today, does it? Let's put one there and then another one. There we go, there. Okay, there we go. And that's our card. So tell me, what do you think? Do you like the one that's all the way to the end or the one that is kind of in the center? I think I kind of like, I kind of, you know, partial to this one, but they're both pretty. And I think that they are just a lot of fun, a nice fun way to wish somebody a happy birthday. And I hope that you have enjoyed uh, learning how to make this card. And of course, if you don't have these, these materials, just use whatever you've got in your stash. This is a great little um, line uh, idea. You can use lots of different, you know, use it lots of different ways. You can do it this way. Uh, same idea here, right? You can do it this way. Maybe put a flower or floral. So make it your own. And if you do make the card and you use some different um, materials, let me see it post a picture on my Facebook page or our Instagram or uh, tag me on it. I'm at, at Crafty Here in Designs on Facebook and Instagram and on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. If you like what you see, um, it really helps me if you could leave a comment or a thumbs up or a, a like or uh, whatever, whatever it is. Let me know that you like what you see. And if you've got a request, if you want to learn how to make something um, particular, um, shoot me a, a message and I'll be happy to, um, to try that for you. So again, thanks for joining me. My name is Linda Edwards with Crafty Hair and Designs and you have a great day. I hope I've inspired you to unleash some of your own inner creativity. Bye-bye for now.